Hi, hello, how are you? I'm just going to scoot you in just like a little bit. Just gonna... Oh, yeah, there we go. I'm just going to scoot you in right here. Scoot me. Last video, I mentioned that my desk is going through a transformation process, and I kind of want to document that a little bit and show you what I'm working with right now. And then we'll do a little update in the future. So let's get started. This is it. This is my desk. This is currently what I see when I walk into my room every day. We've got some personal objects right here. Obviously, you need a set of coasters. I don't know about you, but I need three drinks at all times. One for hydration, one for caffeine, and one for fun. Always and forever. We've got some mini succulents here. These are literally so cute. My sweet, sweet sister actually got these for my birthday slash Christmas, if you will. I think I found these guys on Home Depot. If you're interested in finding something similar, there you go. Next, we have these crystals from my local crystal shop. We've got a fluorite right here, which is gorgeous. A little flash of rainbow. And then a pyrite. I was just so drawn to this. Love shiny. This desk lamp I've had for going on eight years, actually installed in the lamp is actually a Philips Hue white light. So it just portrays white light, but you can do different temperatures. You can set it to cool. You can do a little bit more warm tone. Mine's a little bit more neutral right now. Moving on, we've got the iPad Air fourth generation, if I'm not mistaken, along with the Apple Pencil 2. Love this guy. Use this guy for a little bit of therapeutic drawing and also an extension of my external monitor. That cord that you see kind of just loosely right there, that is a mini USB cable that charges my camera that I use to film all my content as well. Moving left to right in the main desk space, we've got the Magic Trackpad. This is super helpful in correlation with my mouse, and I'll get to that in a second, but it's super helpful to use the trackpad to switch between spaces when I'm working on my desktop. Next we have, uh, the love of my life. I've got a Keychron Q1 keyboard in the green color. I'm obsessed. This guy's got blue switches on it. I wanted the click back. I wanted to feel like Penelope Garcia on Criminal Minds when I am typing, and I get that fantasy. And just check out all of these different colored projects. I mean, how can you resist? Moving on to the right, we've got the Logitech Master MX3. And the feel of this is incredible. You know, it's very ergonomic and you can program this guy to basically be any kind of gesture or keystroke that you want in correlation with Mac OS. And I can't rave about this guy more. You see on the top and the sides that I have added some uh, custom colors to it. I really won't dive in too much. I'm not super happy with the company that I chose to purchase this product from. These are custom cut stickers that I just stuck on to the keys, but you know, that's all I'll say about it. The mouse pad right underneath is very basic from Amazon. This is a Senio fast charger. I adore a stand-up fast charger. I just love having my phone on display. Right here are my AirPods Max. This is what I primarily use when I am working or editing. This acrylic stand right here that houses my external 4K HD monitor from Samsung. Uh, I believe it's from Amazon, but the company that I purchased it from does not make them anymore. So I've got some comparisons for you to check out listed below. Tucked right into my stand is the Lemetric Time Clock. I am obsessed with this to a degree. I'm actually going to put out a full review on this guy if you're looking to add some desk accessories. Going back to the right side of my desk, you see where my computer is housed. Hi, future editing Mark here. I never mentioned my laptop stand because I hate it. So I'm gonna link you a better one down below. This is the 2017 MacBook Pro 15 inch with touch bar. You know, she tries, she, she works so hard. When those fans turn on, I'm just like, I just sit back and be patient for a while and I'm like, she works hard. She works really, really hard. Next, we've got the camera case that I got off of Amazon. Very basic as well. Looking to upgrade soon because I've got a ton of equipment that I feel that I need on me at all times. 
Right next to that is the DJI Osmo 5. Moving right along over here, got this cute little inspirational moment right above my desk, right next to my degree that I do not use. We're not gonna talk about it, but it looks real cute on my wall. Right below that is a little fake aloe plant that I got from Target. This is the Philips Hue Go. Um, it's all right, it's cute. I think I've kind of outgrown this as well. All of this is actually on top of a container store storage unit that houses all of my charging cables and desk accessories. It houses my Swiffer that I use every freaking day because I have two dogs and the hair that collects on my desk on a weekly basis is insane. Chair I got from Amazon, I've got no complaints. It fits me just well. I installed a Philips Hue strip right underneath that is able to change any color that I want. The desk is from Ikea. It actually has a separate part to it that was supposed to act as an extension to make it look and feel like an L-shaped desk, but I decided not to build it in. I just wanted as much leg room as possible underneath the desk for me. There you have it. That is it. That's my entire desk setup. That's what I work with on a daily basis as of now, but I'm very excited for changes to come. I will keep everybody updated. I like to keep these short and sweet. I don't like desk videos to be 10 freaking minutes long. I'm like, it's a desk. Let's just talk about what's on it. Let's talk about what it does for you and move on. Everything that I went over on my desk is actually listed in the description down below if you're interested in checking anything out. Again, if something is not in stock, I found some comparable items that you can check out. smells like a funeral. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I hope you have the day that you deserve. XO. Bye.